Hey, this is Larry at Cameo. So here you are, the listing agent on this property, and you're looking through the inspection report, and the inspector has documented that the subpanel is wired incorrectly. So what in the world does that mean? Well, I don't want to try to make an electrician out of you, but we're going to flip to the next slide, and I think I can fairly quickly explain to you what that means and why it's a potential safety issue. So we're looking at the same photo here and everything is labeled so it kind of makes a little bit more sense and then there's some other things going on with this panel but we're not going to worry about that. So the bus is basically the connection point for the grounds and neutrals. The ground wires are the bare ones. The neutral wires are the white ones. Now Changes have happened with the way that we wire subpanels through the years. Again, let's not worry about that. Let's worry about the basic dynamics of this. And it's simple. White wires, the neutral wires carry voltage. Not a lot, but they carry some voltage. So when the white wires and the ground wires come together in a subpanel, they need to be separated. They should never touch each other again. In other words, the white wires, the neutral wires should be floated. If they are together, as they are in this photo, then what can happen is that you can have voltage carried back to the main panel on those ground wires. Clearly, we don't want that to happen. Clearly, this is a call for an electrician to come out and fix it because it is a health and safety issue. Good news, it's simple, and it shouldn't be costly.